Hi there, myself Isaac. Uh, in the previous video, I uploaded a simple Google search clone project. In this video, I'm going to walk through uh, my code base. So let's get started. I've used VS Studio code for the writing the code. Uh, as you can see, the website contains three main pages. First is the index.html, next is the images page, and we have an advanced search page. Let's start with the index.html page. Yeah, in the index.html page, we have a navigation link for uh, Google images page and the advanced search pages. And we have uh, our Google logo or the Google image that we have centered. And then there is the form. Uh, in order to submit any queries, we need a form, right? So that's why we have used the form. And the action is google.com slash search. And uh, for this, there is an input class of uh, name queue. This is very important because that is the parameter that we are going to pass as a query for uh, the Google search and i used the font i some uh, font of some icons uh, you can just import it from here and you can just link it right here and then we have used the submit button to submit the values of to the google search and uh, there is one more thing is that is called the i'm feeling lucky button it's one of the like the magical buttons in google so for to implement that button you need an input type of submit and uh, uh, name of btn i with a capital i uh, this is compulsory this is not something that we can actually simply name it uh, this is compulsorily you should name it btn with a capital i and here we should add the form action type uh, with uh, the google.com slash search which amount btn i is equal to one uh, in order for this to work uh, let me show you how this works if i use uh, something like a google drive if you search for a google search it will simply load you a google search like this but uh, in the i'm feeling lucky button it, it would just actually load you the actual google drive website that's why it's this is called also called as the magical button and going on moving on uh, the uh, to the css part uh, we have actually used uh, common css styling and all but uh, additional to that we have added certain media queries to make this uh, responsive to all kind of uh, device screens and uh, as you said uh, use of font icon font or some icons can be done use the use help of uh, linking the cdn and uh, ne next we have the google images page uh, in the google images page let me show you uh, let's go to the google images page in the google images page this is the google images page that i have designed um, if we go to the google images.html you can just say i have used uh, the form again uh, with, but here that uh, i have used the uh, google images.google.com dot uh, slash images and we, again the query will be the queue uh, with the name we will be submitting the form but instead of CSS I have actually used uh, the SAS framework the SAS pre-text processor for CSS for those of you who don't know what SAS is SAS is a text processor for, that comes for CSS that's going to make a make it easy to write CSS for more complex applications you can even write CSS but for me it was more like a revision of uh, SAS uh, there are two extensions for SAS that is uh, .scss and .sass for dot SASS, you don't actually need this flower brackets and all. Uh, but for SA, for me, I work with JavaScript a lot, so uh, I really love dot SASS. The main functionality of this uh, pretext processor is just provides you can declare the variables, you can just uh, create the mixins, you can just create um, uh, nesting structures and all, and you can create the functions and pass in parameters. Uh, this uh, this gives a whole programming language definition for the CSS completely. Uh, in order for this to work in your uh, work in your VS Code, you have to install this live science compiler file. Uh, as you can see, it, it will uh, at the end of the day, any pre-text processor you're going to use, it's going to create the style to, uh, .css extension itself. Uh, but you write CSS when it will when it compiles, it's going to generate you the style .css, and that's what I'm going. Uh, that is what I have referred as the style sheet here dot slash style .css, um, and I have written some media queries as well to make it uh, responsive uh, let's uh, take a look if you search something like I and click enter yeah this uh, this works completely fine and um, other another page that I have designed is the advanced search the advanced search page uh, if you can uh, the original advanced search page uh, looks completely something like this this is the original Google advanced search page and uh, this is the one that I have designed uh, let me show you uh, this is the Google Advanced Search HTML. Uh, for this uh, Advanced Search HTML, I have not used any CSS or SAS, uh, but I have used Bootstrap 5. Uh, you, you know, Bootstrap 5 is a framework for uh, 
designing the websites so here like you have to link that to a website uh, link that CDN and I will start in styling in page styling as well and here we have the advanced search and the navigation link to the main page as you can see here this will be this is the navigation link to the main page and the advanced search I will actually use the table instead of divs because uh, with tables uh, unlike the divs it's uh, the arrangement of all the elements is easy um, you will create the form action search like exactly that you, you did in the google search and then but here the parameters that you are going to pass something like for all of these words you uh, as underscore q this uh, exact word of you will use the name as as underscore epq for the input types and for none of these words you will use something like as underscore eq these are the terminologies that are compulsory required the when passing the queries for that and then we have the container flavor and all you, you may be seeing a lot of class names that is because i'm using footstep 5 and if you take a look this works completely fine i'll say i type something like rcb and i don't want none of the words like csk and i'll click that one search as you can see in the query results also rcb this is a not symbol for not csk and uh, gives a result as well and uh, all these pages are completely responsive and if you can see i'll just interact the element wait okay we'll open this in the main screen as you can see all these um, all the pages are completely responsive uh, and uh, this is the simple walkthrough of my application that i've designed i've actually deployed it on github pages uh, that i'll provide the link in the description if you want to have a say uh, a it you can just uh, go through and uh, look at that web page and uh, that's the end of this video uh, i have certain more projects that i want to make video upon uh, so, so subscribe to stay tuned and have a nice day thank you